Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's Dylan here, and welcome back to another video in my channel. And today, this is the first video in my Blender series of how to go ahead and make a game. And today, we're going to be making a very basic model of a um, low poly uh, Glock 18. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with this particular firearm or handgun or piece, or whatever you want to call it, but. Um, yeah, this is what we're going to be making today. It's a pretty simple build, um, not that hard to do for beginners. It, um, it's beginner or intermediate build. Um, it's built up of components um, of the clip, um, the slide, the barrel, the bullets, and of course the um, the handle or the the piece itself. So this is what we're going to be working with today in the the game. Um, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, what we're going to want to do first. Is since I've already had this model built, I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna just slide it right over to the side here. We don't we don't need to see it right now. Um, go ahead and find a picture of a firearm you guys want to go ahead and build, and yeah, um, open it up over here, and yeah, there we go. Um, today, let me just uh, what was it T or N? I think it was N. Yeah, N closes that. Um, so today we're gonna to be building this gun. We're gonna be modeling it, and uh, we might even add a little bit of animation. I don't know. We'll see. We're, we're gonna go ahead and see. Why do I keep forgetting to do that? Okay. Anyways, so today we're gonna to be building the gun. What we're gonna to want to do is first we have our image. Um, we're gonna to want to do is go to an add object, go to mesh, and cube. And I'm gonna be telling you every single key I have. I forgot to turn on key whatever. So. Um, I'm kind of assuming you guys are beginners on this one, so we'll see where it goes from here. So where the button we're going to want to press right now is Z to go to wireframe. Press S to scale. We're actually on a good um, line here. We kind of want to line up with the, the bottom of the gun here, but we'll just press S to scale. And with your clicker, just slide left if or wherever. If you're on this side, slide this way or right, whatever it is. Just use the scroll wheel to zoom in. Press Shift and the scroll wheel button to pan around here. And we're going to want to press this little button here and just go right up to there, just like that. We're actually going to, I'm going to want to, I actually like to have the cube a little bit bigger like this. So I can just line it up there and then just move this up there. Save a little bit of the work for us. Okay. And we like to have this little bump here. If you guys can't see it, just we want to have the clip sticking out just a little bit, just, just a smidge. See, we like to have it stick out a little bit there. So. This gun is only should take us about 20 minutes to make. Not a big deal. Very easy to do, even for beginners. This is actually one of my first guns I ever made. Not this one. This one's like this one was more professional. But like I did a tester video and I made a, a gun. I'll, I'll show you guys maybe later what, what my first weapon was or first creation was I ever made in my Blender thing. So you guys see where I, where I was at. Okay, so we're from here with the cube selected. We'll press Tab. That'll go right into edit mode, or you could just go here and just go to edit mode. Um, we have the cube. Let's go ahead and go to here, the loop cut and slide. Let it line up with the little pink line there. Press OK. And just either click here or click here or simply just slide like that on the thing. Just hold your left mouse button like the regular click button that clicks on things like here and stuff like that. Um, and just slide simply this way. We don't really care about smoothness right now. Let's not focus on that. I don't. I'm not gonna bother with that. But um, from here, this doesn't do anything for us. It just do lines and stuff like that. This any other thing? Let's just press here and press A. Remember, I pressed here and then A. All right. So we have our gun here. Let's press C. Scroll this wheel down. Press OK or not press OK. Just click the left mouse button and just line it up. We just want a rough shape. We don't. We're not. This is a. Don't forget. This is a low poly gun. So we just. We want a rough shape of how the gun is going to look. Not nothing too, nothing too tough to do. We kind of don't want to have any square lines. I, I don't really care about square lines right now because, of course, I'm not, it's not going to be a gun I'm going to use for anything. Um, but I have to say, there's one. If there's one thing I hate, it's watching tutorials where people show you how to make a render or something like that of the image. It's like no one buys Blender to make anything but animations in game. No one makes it to make images i've i of course people do but like i never i've never made an image for it like ever it's it's actually very 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 useless to make just an image so it's it's kind of stupid so in my tutorial series i'm going to show you guys how to do all this for a real game like a game you can put on the steam store um so yeah let's put that there let's take this let's put this here let's put that right there we just want a rough look, just rough to it. 
Let's actually slide that down. We we definitely need these bumps here. This is kind of makes the gun stand out unless you just want to make it straight up. Um, which you know what? I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna make the gun just go straight up. It's don't forget. It's low poly. It's not that big a deal. Just make it go like this, kind of curved on the line there. Just like that. Maybe you want to just. Oh, there we go. So if you look at it, we we have a nice little handle here, right? Let's go up. Let's zoom in. Let's go to face select. Press C. And we don't want to drag up um, because actually, do we want to drag up? I'm just thinking right now about something here. If we drag up, we can add the loop, cut and slide, and cut it straight out. Yeah, yeah. We we we'll. It, both of them work fairly the same. We, we really doesn't matter if you extrude or just slide up. We just want it to where the slide is because don't forget the slide is going to be something we want to animate. So you don't want to put the slide built in with the gun yet. You kind of want to have like a little cut to it. Um, one thing though, I, I don't know if it's a mistake I was making, but every time I would go ahead and make the slide where you can shoot it with like a button like for games, slide will always start somewhere else so I kind of find it's best to go ahead and just build the slide in edit mode because it'll be one mesh with the, the complete um, weapon itself it'll be one just thing and it really doesn't change how the gun looks it just kind of makes it so that wait a minute I'm just thinking right now you kind of want it separately because I'm just thinking if you press the thing back it's gonna make all the rest of the gun twist so no okay just leave it as it is. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but this slide right here, this this little slide right there, it would always fling out somewhere else. And then see how it starts over here? I don't know why it was always doing that. I don't know if I made a mistake there or something. I just I could never fix it, so it was just a pain in the ass. I don't know why. Um, anyways, loop cut and slide. Let's loop cut here. Mm, that line's about fine, because we could just stretch the thing there. It's not really a big deal. Uh, we're gonna want to add one, two, three, four, five loops, loop cut and slide, just as many as you think. Be I mean, it's not really a complicated gun, so it's just. So we're gonna do is this: just slide that out there. This one will slide here. It'll, it should fit perfectly here. Yeah, okay. And then this one just be straight up, just like that. And then this one will slide right there, perfect fit, just like that. Okay, so there we go. Let's go to face select. Uh, what was it? Face select, shift click. Yeah, I don't. I, I still. I don't forgot the hot key for face select. I forgot about that. Uh, we're just gonna want this to go out that much, and we're gonna extrude it on the X because it says here the X right there. So press E, and it's on the Z for some reason. Okay. Interesting. It let, it let me extrude on both the X and the Z. That was a little bit odd. Just leave it as is. Leave the gun alone. Don't don't try to go up like this because then it kind of messes with the barrel a little bit. We don't want that. That's just bad. Very bad. Press A. Um, just press C. Since these are just flat face there, just go like that. It really doesn't matter for us right now. Just go here and then just forget about that little twist there it's just it's not really important right now and just turn that to there and then turn this one to right there because we're gonna take this whole line and we're actually just gonna push it up let's go here press C grab that and then just push the whole line up there we go so now we have kind of a small little gun right now we're gonna go ahead and add this so let's go to loop cut and slide it's kind of curved a little bit for some reason. Um, that really doesn't matter. We'll just extrude down. It really doesn't matter where it is. This doesn't matter. It's just as long as this just goes down. That's all we care about. So loop, cut, and slide. You can adjust, of course, these lines. Um, but, you know, let's press C, extrude. Okay. Let's loop, cut, and slide right. Let's just say there. Press this. Press that. Extrude back. It's fine if it goes into the uh, the mesh itself because all we care about is that and now if we go far away, you might see it kind of glitch a little bit, but when you're in game, it's not gonna do that. Um, sometimes it will if your mesh is on the surface. Let, I mean, let me see if I can show you how I did how you do that. Um, let's tab into edit mode. Uh, let's say you go ahead and do this right here, this select. You press this, you go extrude, 
and you go like inside there and then you press like Z. You see this right here? If you look closely, see how this is kind of colored weirdly? Now if I go to object mode, if I go away a little bit. Oh, man, why isn't it doing it? It always does it for me. I just, for some reason it's not. Let's say we have this. Let's go, okay, extrude down on the this. Okay, now see that right here? You see how it's doing this little glitchy little thing right there? That's what it's gonna do, and it's gonna go like this. Like it's gonna be this little like, um, almost like a little checkerboard scratchy looking thing. What's happening is there's two um, planes or meshes interacting with each other. They're pushing against each other actually in the same area. So the game is trying to process, or the blender is trying to process, which one goes first. So it's kind of a, a, it's a real pain if you if you don't know what you're doing here. So it's 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 annoying. I hate when that happens. So let's get rid of that. Tab, five, Z, Control Z. We don't want this here, this thing. Control Z. I don't know why it's not. Okay, now it's gone finally. Hey, pain in the butt, man. Anyways. See here, this and the other thing. All right, now here, let's just loop, cut, and slide right here. Just add like five. All we need to do is just make sure these go in like that, so it's not that important. Um, let's go to here, press C, grab this, tighten that in like that. Get this going in like that. This, this, this. All of these go straight in. It's better to have it look straight like that. All like that. And then this one goes in. That one goes in like this. This one goes in like that, and that one like, like so, just like that. We, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Even though it's a little bit off, it's fine. Okay, so now we have a, a gun now. Now all that's left to do is add the slide. So let's get to that. Uh, what we're gonna want to do is go out of object mode. This we want this to be all one object. Um, so let's add the the slide. Let's go add mesh, cube, bring the cube up scale it down with S. Remember that most keys in Blender are either controlled by control or shift. And like say the word scale, that would be S or um, parent would be P or we actually what was it? What was it? Shift, shift P? No, it's shift and then click. But P or control P would parent set parent to object or whatever. We're going to be doing is parenting to these, but don't worry about that. We're not going to worry about that right now. Let's just do Bring that up to the top, press tab. We're just gonna wanna go ahead and select the bottom of this and bring it up. I don't know if in my recorder it's a little bit um, dark. I don't know if you can't see that here. Let's press N and let's make the opacity a little bit better. Uh, you can't really see the black lines. Uh, okay, this is better because you can see now the lines a little bit better. Let's just leave it as is right there. Press N, press C. Um, you're not, you're not going to need to extrude it out as much. Just put it up to there. Press A. Okay. So now we have a pretty functional gun here. Don't worry about that. We'll fix that in a couple of seconds. I'll show you how to do that. Okay. 5Z. So it's 1.5, by the way, to go into this view. I should have said this in the beginning of the video. Okay. So we're going to want to do is do loop cut right there. Loop cut right there because that's where the bullet will be. Um, and let's go to there. Let's go Z. We're going to want to do face select. Select these two faces. Let me, let me just think for a second. Is that what it was? Yeah. Press X and delete faces. Now we have this really bad, very, very bad like looking thing here. This is just, that's not cool. We don't want that because that's a little bit thin on that side. Uh, we're going to want to go ahead and do... How did I do it on this one? I'm just thinking here. How did I do this? I it seems like I just extruded it out actually. Oh, you know what I did? I, I loop cut and slide it right over there. So let me go one, let's see, five. Control Z. We don't want the, okay, so I don't remove that gap. Let's do loop cut at the top, at the top, right in the center. That's fine, right in the center and bring it back like this. Cause don't forget, we don't want it to be that thick. Um, because remember what I said, um, I'll show you here, here, give me a second. Press this, shift on that, and then uh, let's loop cut and slide again at the bottom before we do the, another mistake here, right there. OK, 
Okay, this and this and then X and then faces. Okay, now this is a huge problem here, watch. So when you press this, you press extrude, it actually is not only changing the color of your, your model, but it's actually um, taking the back of it off, which is, that's bad. We don't, why does this thing always keep doing that? We don't want that, that's, that's like really bad. Um, so, to go ahead and not have that, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is press, uh, go to here, press this one, and press, and shift with that one, and press F to fill. Press this, click that, and click that, and press F to fill as well. And then click that one, and then also that one, and press F to fill again. And now we have a pretty, I would, <sighs> I would hate to say great gun, but I, it's it's a good gun. It's a good gun. Let's let's go ahead and extrude on the was it the that okay. Just extrude there. Extrude down on the Z. Press E to extrude with it with the line select. Is that what this is called? Line select. Actually, edge select. Okay. So now we have a nice box gun. I know there was a better way to do this. I just I don't know why I'm like half asleep right now. Um. Anyways. So we have that. Um, we now have a basically a firearm. Let's just fix this. Well, I mean, let's just handle this right now. This is kind of annoying me. Let's take the gun. Let's. What we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to take this, slide it right to the edge. We don't want it right on the edge, just right before the edge. It's little bit. You don't really notice it, but if you go over the edge, it does this, and it almost like shares planes with the thing. The line shows a little bit, so we don't we don't want that there. Okay. Let's so leave it as it is. The slides. Does that look a little bit off? Same thing with this one, it looks kind of off. I think it's just the optical illusion. Um, let's go tab, uh, face select, press C, and you can't be in wireframe, you have to be in just regular face select like this. Select all of these faces, just go a little here, just select, you have to go over where the little circles are or very close to them. The big face you don't have to, but. Um, Let's see, is that gonna work? Yes, it will. Okay, so now just slide it over. Remember what I said? Kinda have it a little bit bigger than the gun. It's a little bit less noticeable. Okay, so now we have a, basically now we have a gun now. We have a pretty cool gun. Let's put this back. Now a gun is not a gun without the barrel, so it's just kind of, it's, it's like a shooting yourself in the foot, literally with a gun. Add. Um, let's go actually to one. Let's add mesh cylinder. So we get this big cylinder. Let's scale it down. Rotate on the on the the Y ninety. Yeah, the Y ninety. Okay. So bring this up right there. Press Z. Scale a little bit more. Ugh. Right there is good. Now, now you want the thing to stick in a little bit into the thing because when the gun slides back and when you animate, sometimes you might animate not perfectly and it might slide back a little bit too much. You want the, the, the barrel to be sticking in a little bit. Now that's off. So slide that into there like that. And then let's go one. There we go. Now you're going to tab and press C, Z, I meant. Um, tab into edit mode. Select this and extrude just like that. Now, for this gun, since it's a little bit blocky, this, uh, the barrel's a little bit off, so we'll just scale it a little bit more, um, just like that. And we'll select this and press I, which will create a loop cut and slide inside the thing. It almost creates like a circle, or if it's a square, it'll create a smaller square, which is great for windows. Just like that, a little bit more. And then you can't go in with the button because it goes like that and then you can kind of see the planes getting messed up in the meshes. So just press extrude. And you'll see it go back there. We don't want it doing that, just just like that. So there it is, all the way back there. Now we have a nice gun, right? It's really great. Um, now, all we need to do is this. Um, let's go to object mode. Let's press A to select all. Of course, I selected this one too, so press C. Or you don't have to press C, but I, I do. 
and I'm just gonna remove all these we don't want that okay so we have that and by the way to remove all that you just if you have C and you have something selected just press the middle scroll wheel and it'll remove the object that you have now we're gonna go to materials add a new material let's just make the entire gun For some reason it's only selecting that oh because I uh, I hate when that happens. Uh, let's just let's just make the barrel black and the gun yeah like a nice you don't, you don't want to make it exactly the same color but you know let's make this white because it kind of adds like a nice just a nice version to it. You can see my gun the one that I made. Uh, I had to clip there with all the other stuff. This is actually a nice gun. I think I might keep this one. It's just a nice model to work off of maybe some other time. It's just a little, uh, I don't know, something. I literally just put my hand up and just said something. Like, I don't know. Um, this is low poly, so don't worry about the trigger. You're not going to be seeing it in the game. This isn't Call of Duty. We don't, we're not millionaires here, so we don't have that kind of cash to and all that time and everything to work around that. So let's just... Do this. Um, uh, now we have the gun selected. Now I'm going to show you how to animate it. Now you don't need bones to animate um, objects. You now uh, bones are mostly used if you want to make. I, I don't know if you guys have ever played Mortal Kombat. You see some of the characters how their feet move and their eyes move. That's when you need to add bones. I actually I have some characters I rigged myself. They turned out great, but it's just sometimes bones just annoy me and they're just re they actually like really annoy you. So let's just not add, let's not add any bones. I mean, you could, you could do add uh, armature single bone and you'll just put it here and then you press, you know, control P or when the bone is selected and you do just to the mesh and this to any other thing, but eh, it's boring. Okay, so now we have the object selected, press shift and then click the other object, then press control P and uh, do we want to keep transform? I think so, I think we'll keep transform on. So shift, Select that, control P, keep transform. Because sometimes you actually shift that and control P into the object. And then this thing right here like goes like over there, like way over there. And you're like, what the heck? So let's just let's just forget about that. Let's leave it as as it is. So now if I select the gun, all the parts will go with it. So now we're gonna go to animation. So we're gonna go to this window, go to animation. Uh, I don't know why I that's there. I have no idea why, but just just forget about it. Let's go back here. And this is a huge trick I'm gonna show you guys. First, select everything. Okay, press I at frame one. So go to frame one. Uh, first, let's actually add a new one. Let's go ahead and do gun test animation there we go perfect now this is a key I'm gonna show you guys which is this is interesting um, you can't just animate the gun and then say oh two seconds after I animated I forgot to add the bullets or I forgot to add the fire or anything you have to every time you select something if you don't want just the one function to move out here you know what I'm gonna show you, you can take a second let me show you I'm gonna press I Visual location rotation. I don't know why people call it visual location rot, but it just visual location rotation. Leave it as it is with all the objects selected, okay? Let's go to frame, let's say 20, okay? Now we want the slide to go back. So the slide will go back. Now we're gonna have, now with this, you can just select the slide, but what I'm gonna show you now, just it's better to select all, it wouldn't hurt. So now we're at that, okay? So if we play the animation, we're going forward. Okay, now we're gonna go to frame, let's say 40. Okay, now we're gonna select this and we're gonna slide back, but we also want the gun to slide back. So we're gonna actually take the gun and rotate it on the Y like that. And the, the slide is also gonna, I uh, forgot about that. We're gonna go Control Z, forget about that. We'll just slide this back See that was see that was a glitch right there or not a glitch but see how why I said to have a longer barrel, go back to there, okay, and as well as rotate the gun on the Y like that. Now select all of the objects that you just used and press I. Now this should work. 
so you shoot the gun. That's kind of a problem there. I, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna here. I've only done this once before where you make the gun slide back and it worked for me. I don't know why it's not working now. It's kind of stupid, but it's not working. What happened was is I made the gun first and since Blender, like you know how you move the objects around like this, like you like try to position it perfectly. Blender is actually recording that. But what happens is is that when you make the gun go forward, it's actually, Blender is a smart thinker. It actually thinks about the object. what What's happening? It actually thinks about what's happening. So it thinks, okay, um, just like if you wanted the parent bones to the uh, object, it's gonna know you're making, you're trying to make something like this. So parent it to this. It's not gonna parent it to the, you know, the handle of the gun. It thinks about it for you. So it's it's interesting. So ba basically, we have a, a little animation here. It's kind of stupid, but um, let's go to 60, and let's go ahead and select the slide again with this selected. And let's rotate on the Y and let's put it back down as well as select all of this and rotate on the Y and put it back down. And then we'll go ahead and select these two and then bring them back down and then press I, no, I visual location rotation. Now this is gonna be messed up, but it's fine. So boom, now the slide goes back down and now Okay, where's the turn of the gun? I'm not sure where that's supposed to be at here. Oh, okay, okay. Um, we're at 60. Let's just go to 60. Let's just say 63. And now let's select everything and then rotate on the Y and bring it down. And visual location, rotation. So now it should all go down now. There we go. So now if we play our, play our animation. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. Now we have a basic, crappy animation. A nice gun. It was textured. And now I'm going to give you guys one little key if you stuck around in the game. You might sometimes go to Blender. And let's just go to Default. Okay. I'm going to go to Game Logic. Now, this is something that you might learn a little bit later in Blender. I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool. We have our cubes, right? This is the cylinder and this is the slide. We only want, let's just add, let's just do it for the slide, okay? Uh, no, let's do it for everything. It's better to do it for everything. Mm, you know what, let's do it with this. I, I, I don't know why I'm just doing it with this. Let's just do an always, no, a keyboard actuator. I don't know if this is gonna work, but, uh, no, mouse actuator, sorry. Let's do mouse, left button is fine. And we're going to make an action. The action is going to be gun test animation. Now, our start frame was 1. Our end frame was... I think it was 63. So let's go back to default. Not default, game logic. End frame was 63. Okay. So now they're together. Now, when I press the left button, it should work. I, I'm not, I don't think it will, but it should. Okay, so yeah, it's, I told you it does work. So when you press play, okay, so, and then we wanna just go ahead and do loop end. So press P, and then that should do it again. Okay, there we go. So we have a very basic animation. I didn't select the slide, I only had the gun go back. But you guys see what I'm trying to say here. Um, so we have now a gun that shoots, but when you press P, see, you notice how the gun's just like, it's just white with a black handle and a black barrel, and it's just a white slide. It's just like, what? It's not It's not like how you see in the low poly games. Now, the little key to this, okay, is if I go to default, um, you ha you have to if you want to see the textures you get from other things you have to go to textured view, and that kind of makes it it actually makes the same because I don't have any lamps in here, but when you have the correct lighting which I'll show you how to do, it really makes the gun look a lot better, as well as it'll make the gun look like the colors you want because this is not the color it's showing, even though it's just that I mean does that look like the same color I have on the right over there it looks similar of course it's it's the same color it's a it's a it's almost like a tarish looking color 
But on the left, it's just completely just like it's almost like it's like paint on the left. It's just it's just completely black um, blacked out. So um, we don't. It doesn't look the same, is what I'm trying to say. And then the white, it looks the white is creamy here. It's just a just flat white. And then we have just a white block, right? It looks the same, but when you press P, it's just even though it looks similar, it looks kind of see through, which is not great. So what we want to do is you want to add like lights, the lamps, the, the lighting that I recommend is a what did I use? I used a was it a point? Did I use a point? No, I used a sun. Why do I? Why did I just add another one of those? I used a sun lamp. Sun is the best lamp to add for low poly. This is our best lamp to add. It's just a little recommendation. Just rotate it, put it there, and when you press P, see how it looks a little bit better. See that how it looks just a little bit better there. It that's now we only have one lamp, so it's not great, but it's just you know what I'm saying. So that's that's basically it. So anyways, that is the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I I kind of wish I was a little bit more thorough on this video, but anyways. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to, to like, sub for sub, guys. Leave down in the comments. I do subscribe, first subscribe. So don't be afraid to go ahead and do that. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the videos I said before. And stay tuned for more in my series. Every single series starts off bad like this one. Nobody wants to make a handgun as their first thing ever. They want to get going, but I understand. Just be patient, guys. And it should be done very soon. You should have a full operating game where you can think on your own with the game like how to make your own stuff in your own very soon so i will see you guys in the next video